Spots it. Oh, I shot spots it. Yeah. They're gonna go in. Will they get the shackle? I need the shackle. I only get the light of heaven for a very, very short time. Visual is gone. Light of heaven is almost dead. Light of heaven is actually not dead yet. Black Hole and Ravage. They chain up the two. And you won't pop. Black Hole still actually coming. Is it gonna get the kill? 357 still alive. We've lost Beast Master, but there's actually three going down for e Hope. Take a bite back in the game. He three wants to get seven. back. 357 on the run. That's the uh, Gush, as well as the Radius Burn. PLT still alive during this, but he is currently on the run. The Shooky comes up cooldown. He's got time to get away. Then he's got a DP back there, and it's back there having 2,000 gold. Once again, he's got enough to go. They're take themselves down. Navi already in the pit. They're going to try and bring down Roshan. All five. Dandy! He's going to jump out. He goes for the dream call. He gets him. He gets e -Hope. Holds him in the middle lane. Navi already on the way out of the pit. They're coming in to help out Dandy. Then he just went in and demolished them. Now, they're on top of the tier three tower. They're going to bring it down. The tier 4 tower is going to go down and running in right now is the rest of Na'Vi. They're running forward to one million dollars and they will get it! The GG is the call from eHome. Na'Vi have just won one million dollars. eHome do take home $250,000 in second place, but Na'Vi are the champions! There's moments of esports that are landmark, and this is one of them in Cologne. And Na'Vi, the winners, you guys have just made history. In comes Tong Fu. They are oh, going to move in. Yes. There we go. Five Na'Vi is locked. Wants to go down. The prep is there. And Na'Vi, Puppy will have to turn around for the biggest black of his life. One second, zero second. Now we got Black Call, one on wall! And into the back! Huge hit on Tofu! They've lost three, they've lost four! It's a disaster! They've lost five! Na'Vi, it could have been amazing for Tofu! But what a play by Light of Heaven and Puppy! Disintegrating Tofu! Best five ever. Oh! Is burning, burning blows the ulti. However, Navi is spread way out. This is beautiful positioning, basically a wasted ult. Burning did what he could, it doesn't matter. Navi is undeterred, they bring the tower down. Puppy blows the ult. He wants to get in the fight, super. He has his ult up if he wants it, and there it is, there's the split. Probably gonna take Puppy out of the fight if he can. Burning, using the Radiance damage to try and manage this. Long DD misses on the Gale. Havos blinks back out, but as it stands, Na'Vi in total control. Up goes Beastmaster. Puppy takes a rock in the face. There's the big roar, ROTK. Oh, what an unbelievable shallow grave. And the black hole, but no! Taken up out of the air. Taken up out of the air by Dindy, who stole the Brewmaster Ultimate. Na'Vi has had everything go their way this fight. The buyback from Brew. Down goes the melee racks. Burning's in the air. He's gonna come back down and he is gonna drop. Dindy and Na'Vi are not abandoning the fight. Still moving, triple kill now for Havost. Havost has gone absolutely bonkers, as has Dendi. Stealing and oh, he's going back in. Dendi with another telekinesis. ROTK is gonna go down here. Looks like it's well, but an ultra kill for Annie Mage. And the entirety of DK is down, and that is a rampage for Havost. And the good she, games come she. out. Takes a 27 minute win in game two for game three of this best of three series against DK. And they're on their feet here in Seattle. Standing ovation for the defending champions. Definitely deserves. Navi played a spectacular game number three. Here they come, guys. Give it up for Navi. Lapping fives, well-deserved as well. And again, the standing O from the house. And look at the manner. That's what you love to see.
Definitely good stuff coming out from the winners of this best of three. And I mean, Any Mage had the start that he wanted. Burning had some pretty ridiculous farm of his own, but it just wasn't quite enough to overcome the push potential. And it looks like Lycan. Definitely defending. They're coming to the left, smoking up. And oh, here we go. Man. Big wraparound gank is going to be the name of the game for IG. Who leads the way? I believe it should be Zoe. They're going to cut for the, the shorter path. They storm up the river. Patience from Zoe. Waiting in the wake. Navi's about to be caught. Oh, there's the sleep. The Surin. He catches everyone. Oh, this could be a total disaster. Thank you, man. Ravage on everyone. The black hole as well. Light of heaven turns it around. Ravage as well. Stolen by Danny. Are you kidding me? They turn it around. Four heroes dead. Four Five heroes dead. Chuan trying to survive. Chuan's gonna go down. Puppy talked about the Naga counter. It's Light of Heaven. What does BKB? They turn it around. I don't even know how they're gonna do it. Standing ovation from the crowd. The last tower will be going down. Waiting in the wake. Navi's about to be caught. Oh, there's the sleep. The Surin. He catches everyone. Oh, this could be a total disaster. Thank you, man. Ravage on everyone. The black hole as well. Light of Heaven turns it around. Ravage as well. Stolen by Danny. Are you kidding me? They turn it around. Four heroes dead. Four Five heroes dead. Chuan trying to survive. Chuan's going to go down. Puppy talked about the Naga counter. It's Light of Heaven. What does BKB? They turn it around. I don't even know how they're going to do it. Standing ovation from the crowd the last tower will be going down and i think they sense blood in the water they'll keep going 10 and 3 is the score right now no turning back boards are coming up cooldown in just 11 seconds and here we go this tower this racks even not long for life he has invis he wants to go right beam, beam on puppy puppy he's gonna get picked off immediately light of heaven's looking for the black hole he's gonna try he's gonna get three bkb black hole right click on light of heaven sonic wave from dendy everybody's dead so want to have something to pay he dies oh, the boss is gonna go and he can play extremely aggressive because he has the ages of mortal Creep jacking back and forth. Oh. The clap move barely misses. A Vols down to about half HP. He's oh, got to no. be very careful. The blade, the blink, the black hole, and the battle fairy damage. Dendi cleans up as well. Everybody dies. A Vols double kill. He's looking for the triple. The right click. Oh, Dendi takes it away. Now yeah, he can always use it. Bottom lane. Now Silo wants to make a move. Gets the ensnare out in line of heaven. DDC. There's the gush. Ravage is up for this one. Campbell on the TP. Dendi comes in. Picks up DDC. Stella tracks down to the work. Quite right, a boss jumps in, big beast on him, and the Chrono holding Sila, bash it down. Dendi saw Ravage, Dendi saw Ravage, he pulls it back, Whoa. and the stun, massive from Navi! Just to keep it in mind, who, who cares about his, you got Puppy's BKB, he'll run in there, now being confident up, DK comes out, stun on Puppy, and the Roar as well, hey, you're gonna hit, but here comes Light of MMM on the edge, it's Black Hole, LGD, two down, three down! the grand final slot and who goes down the lower bracket to face up against IG will be back Dendi is nuked down Fable telekinesis oh he still has a dragon form no it is gonna be the sleep and now they're coming right back the vacuum on everybody oh. everybody's dying right now team wipe team wipe against IG Navi in game two they're holding on and they're gonna take a plate engagement. There's actually smoke from Navi behind the tower. Oh, this is gonna be a fight. Yeah, Vader, already the dragon force. Oh, oh my bang. god. Fury upon the dead is winding up too. There goes your ulti in the wall. Execution is perfect. The heads will roll with mouth force. Syndrome locked in. Dendi with the double kill. And they want to find the last one. They might even catch. Yes, death to the TI3 couriers. <laughs> couriers. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. You're gonna force people back no matter what. That's just the effect of what she has on the hook. Boom! Oh, Max Rage finds hell! And gonna notch his first kill of the game. He shot that perfectly. Small opening between the creeps. He was standing right about here. Here's another kill. And Tong Fu is going to continue to push. They're not done. Mech still hasn't even been used. There's a hook! How? Brought all the way back to the base! Cleaned up by the fountain. And now Puppy gonna be caught out. King J re-engaged upon. 
Weird little skirmishes breaking out behind the tower. Good vacuum, and they're going to dust it as well. Now, Dindy getting back involved in front. Son Shang going to be dismembered and cleaned up. In the meantime, King J trying to TP away behind the fight. Shackle does not latch. We actually just saw the Chen Pudge combo at the International. That happened. Yeah, now Havos is going to keep going on move. They want to go for this. Oh, oh no! Oh, hooked him back. The impale's there to bail him out, though. Visit Tramilia's trying to help out. Doom on Dindy will probably seal his fate. But Moo will be cleaned up as well. And Dindy denied himself. Oh, he got denied by the Chen Kree. Puppy was following oh. him by the Tong Fu, so... If he had been a little bit farther up, he would have been able to throw the hook, but the thing is there was a range creep in the way. And there oh, it is. there it is, yep. Banana going for a ride on the Dindy Express. Welcome to the well. And... Hello's going to try to TP out here. Oh, man, it's going to be close. Made it. Barely able to get away. Now Na'Vi, though, in position. They might try something. Dindy's going to try it again. Can he? Got him that time. See you in the base move. Welcome home, and a post. Not that he needed to. Gives him a little assistance. Engagement breakout as Kuro. Oh, there we go. The hook. Got him. Uh. Zan Shing taking the long ride to Shanghai. Welcome home. Navi gets another kill. Here we go. Kuro going to be caught out in the river at the same time. Four staff tries to get him to safety, does not have carapace. Shackle shot, almost perfect. Was perfect, but the impale caught everyone as well. Kuro now with the carapace, counter initiation. Down goes the wall, that's just the most chopping wood on Banana though. Gets the kill, now he's gonna have to go to work on King J. Here comes Dindy, vacuum into the wall once again. He's dismembering, Moo going to town on him. Havos makes it a double kill. Now they're gonna get another one, Navi. Charging back out at King J will make it a full five-man wipe. They found that breath of air they needed with that one fountain hook. They're on their feet. They're chanting. Oh, counter initiation. Drop down. Moo catches Funnick and now caught out and the hook brings Hal back out. Havos going to tell on Moo. Hal is down. Moo and Havos going toe to toe. Soul Assumption does nothing. Son Shane can do nothing. Four Staff on Mu gets him back. Now they're going to try to chase him. They got him. King J trying to find fun at Four Staff to safety. In the meantime, Dendi still looking for yet another hook. Has it in two seconds. The creeps causing him some problems. The gem hasn't even been picked up yet. Familiars are going to drop, but it doesn't matter. They concede the melee racks. And Navi, who seemed to be out of options, seemed to be at the point of desperation, have fought their way not just back into this game, but back into the lead. By the familiars, we'll see. Stun go out, and he's going to go fishing and find Sun Shang. Cleaned up, so immediately coming back out. And Kuro catches Banana. Shackle is there. Going to tell. Call down on Moo. Moo being dismembered, being locked out, being killed off. And how can't stand up to the damage. Havos has gone crazy. That's a double kill for the big man with the little man on his shoulders. And Navi. Dare we speak it? Dare we whisper it? A game that seemed to be out of control. Banana now caught out. There's the shackle off of the creep. Carapace is up and another kill for Havos. Five are down. One set of racks is down. They're going to go to work on the tier three. Buybacks aren't coming out. Dare we think it? Could it be? Navi bringing down the last remaining vestiges of hope for Tong Fu. The tier fours under assault. Navi, he got him! One more! This is what you call one for the road! Man, I, can I cannot believe that they actually did it. Funnick's going to be running here as well, though, from Tong Fu. Funnick vacuum back. Lockdown cleaned up. Time.
And we're going to see Puppy spotted out. He will be doomed. We're actually going to see Havos going to work now, getting a kill as well. Puppy, Dindy's there to try and help him, though. He's not doomed. Puppy trying to juke him around. And, yeah, keeping it on him. There's the MPL to follow it up. Puppy still alive. Mechs through him. GG! Navi has snatched a berth in the upper bracket grand finals from the brink of defeat. A game that looked to have slipped away from them. And they shock the world. The capacity crowd here on the floor of Better Royal Hall. Arms are in the air. Voices are raised. A standing ovation for the boys of Na'Vi. Very well deserved victory for Na'Vi. I mean, I think what we learned here... And Andy, the prop only bounced in. Havors being stunned up. Extinct already initiated. Nice Nine side, but back oh in a three. God. And the triple stun stolen by Koro. They disintegrate Orange in the mid. The wall went down, the macro pie, the ice pump. Off cool lane, five seconds. Mushy's gonna jump in, full start, look for the side of the vice, not gonna work. Mushy did, now Denny with a stun, Koro with a stun, back, back in again, and Puppy! Three on the hole, but the feed script cancels it off, then drives up, then it's a bumping three again, then Chad keeps him alive, Orange lost two, Orange lost three, Orange has lost four, and the gal lose five, KYXY on the retreat, the track will keep it, and Denny's following it in, and KYXY. Will fight from inside his own base. Huge counter initiation from Navi. And there's no buybacks. There are three buybacks on cooldown. This is Rex. With enemy creeps. Puppy, Puppy. The smoke goes. They would have seen it over the tree line. Dendi get a phase shift. And Five then with the Shiva's gun, hole. they're going to jump in. Koro. Big stun. Double stun. Feeds group cancel. Black hole. Won't go. He actually gets two. KYXY no higher. Locked in position. A force with a double kill. Mushy. Almost dead. He is dead. Mushy down. SK will buy back. And GG. Na'Vi, they come back from what looked like oblivion to get into their third international grand final, and a Na'Vi, rematch. They celebrated so happily in that booth. They're going completely crazy over that win. Man, they have done what no other team has in Dota 2, a third international final. Orange, all props to them for their game, but the crowd is on their feet. For the defending champions of TI1. We see both the teams hugging it out. Navi, big smile for both these teams. Played completely amazing, making it all the way here. Navi, got to be going up. Oh, look at the respect given to Mushy as well. Oh, yeah. That's the wonderful thing. While we play of the top quality Dota, these guys can still remain friends. But when they're inside those boxes, when they play Dota, there's all about the win. It's all about the win. And Na'Vi, with that comeback, they deserve it. But Orange, they deserve their third place as well. Oh. They Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finals of the International Three! And now, a whole kind of both. He's overstayed his welcome here. Swamping and Kuroki. Kuroki says, get me out of here, man. And he can't. He'll fall. It's a headlong retreat now. Bulldog teleporting forward, creating another base of attack. Now a call down to fly. They've lassoed Bulldog. He's still alive, though. He's not even dying. Three dead. No track kills for Na'Vi, and they're not going to get any. Make it four. Na'Vi down 2 to 11, yeah, and they're going to GG. Oh, my God. GG. 16 minute GG and they're gonna get that final last kill on Lions just dominating 
dominating Navi three-time finalist, but it does not matter at all. The Alliance not even slightly phased. Navi went for a very unorthodox draft. Very little access to late game. Heavy pressure on the laning stage. And the Alliance weathered the storm, took the advantage early, and they never, they never looked back. A boast in the front lines. To the lines he goes. He'll start hitting the tower. The pressure is here. They will have to respond. The familiars try to stun. One falls in doing so, and it just don't stop. They'll back off. They'll reset. They'll reload. Dendi with the Yule Scepter. Whenever Navi wants to pick a fight, they can. And if Alliance does not defend now, they will start losing their first lane of Rax. Oh, bit jump in against S4. He gets pulled back out. And S4 is going to get focused so hard that he does not know what him. Meanwhile, Hobos, 1v4, deep in the base. He does not care. Immediate buyback. Yule Scepter back up. Can we get a black hole? Yeah, no, no, no black hole. S4 drops his war first. They want Bulldog. Bulldog chasing in. Yeah, Alliance, Bulldog. They just can't stand against this level of Damage! Puppy's still hunting! Stun out Ake! They don't even need the black hole! It's a route! It's a retreat to the fountain! They'll find S4! S4's dead! In a matter of seconds! Four to fall! They're farming Alliance in their own base! This is the most one-sided game that the Alliance has lost in this entire tournament! 20 minutes in! 20 kills! The goal lead 30,000! And it's GG! What was once a best of five is now resetting to a best of three. It's all tied up. Navi has struck back with a vengeance. They have struck back with a sledgehammer. I have never, ever seen in a professional game where we had such high goal lead. This is the grand finals of the international, but before we send it back to the analyst. And now Navi deciding to go into the Roshan pit. I mean, Firefly is down, but it's back up now. And you gotta here expect, we go. oh, here we go. But both being pulled out here, and he, there's nobody helping him out except a relocate. Can Dendi bring him home? He's not doing anything just yet. But both oh. still very tanky. Dendi. Oh, Dendi walks into it. Oh, no. And now, still raging on. Kuroki to fall. Two dead. Now they're on the run from the backside. Comes Frontic. Laguna Blade as well. That's three for one. Alliance where there's a will, there's a way. Four for two. And Hauntino Bose, he's going to be a tough kid. But there's your arrow. Loda is sniping them all. Cannot miss. Will not stop. That's a team wipe. Give them five, four, one. And now directly into the Roche pit. Actually five for two, but here we go. There's a glyph on Navi. There's a buyback on the wisp. Arrow not going to accomplish anything. In comes the bear. In comes S4. He's found Funnick. In comes Disarm. the boat as well. Disarm against the bear. He's not doing anything. Funnick survived the initiation. Hobo the says, bear. I want the bear. Baby. I want your HS. Thank you very much. The Divine Rapier is now on Funnick, and Navi are going to cut Alliance's head up down the middle lane. GG! They started this series off 0 to 1. They started this series off looking like they had no idea what they were doing. And yet here they are, leading 2-1. to one. The defending International 1 champions fell short last year, but this year it might be their chance to return to their former glory. Do we count on Navi or do we say 3-2 Navi? Are they making a comeback or will Alliance have we'll find out? Pocket? And on that note, we throw it back to the analysts. Guys, Navi's close. They can taste it. We go. No way. A boat's coming in. Alliance, they don't have a gem. Actually, they do have a gem on EGM. S4 just doesn't care. He gets stunned and he keeps on rolling. There's no glyph. This tower's falling soon. Kuroki, something oh, stolen. There's a no force that backwards. You gotta kill EGM quick. And they will not. Back. The mech coming out. The call down comes out. A boat's trying to right click, but he just does not do any damage. S4. Double melting. kill for Loda. Three on the deck. A boat's not gonna win this fight. Not against Alliance. Their foe might unveiled. They take four. They only lose one. This is Rex. This might well be game. 16 to 4. 25 minutes in. Na'Vi getting smashed. Yeah, they lost all. They nuke and then silence Funnick. Now the tier three is down. Funnick out of this fight for quite a few seconds. The tier two, the Rax is gonna fall. Loda's taking it. Now oh. those the Funnick last way up Loda, but Loda is still alive. He's still got a satanic. Avost is hacked, and Avost will fall.
S4 and the rest of team. Triple buyback coming up from now. Quad buyback. They want, they need to make something of this happen. Dandy finds a two man coil and they're going to go right in front of Oh, he's trying to relocate up. here. Lotus still got BKB. Bulldog will fall though. I think. No, Whoa. He's still not alive. dead yet. Oh, a boss buyback into death again. And on S4, he's going to chase. The other dead. Alliance, the Swedish monsters. G -G. They force a game five. Credit to Havos making something out of nothing because that backstab took Alliance out of the comfort zone. Was able to get a ton of done in that team fight, but they were just out item. They were out gun. Way too far behind. If it was close, that could have made the difference. Yeah. But Alliance, give it to them. They went for a Night Stalker mid. They pulled something out of the hat and they crushed virtually from start to finish. This is the first time in TI history that we're going to a game number five. Is it really? Is wow. it really? I think so, TI. I, I believe you're right. Yeah. And on that note, over $2 million hang. Oh, oh, bottom Pulled lane, up. bottom lane. Havos on the run gets oh, pulled into no. a tether. He's channeling a stun, but he's been locked in position. Dropping oh, fast, not oh. dead yet. Lotus low. Lona is going to die. Havos. Havos drops the first blood. Ammo Bola going for the kill right now. Tether to break the trees. Tango up here by Havos. He's got to do. Simply too damn good. 1v4. He finds two. He does fall, but man. Just great juking. Ooh, they're now they're going one to get time. once more. They'll go for a boast. A one second stun. The luck not with them. He's Another got magic, stick. magic stick. Four charges. Can he get to the trees? He's he will. Live. He's going to be saved. Tango. He's, He's going to live. Balls. They're balls. still going for this oh bulldog. God. Tango. Oh God, the tower. jukes. So much jukes. But the trees being destroyed. One more stun. He's still juking to the right side. Tower. EGM. EGM's low. Can you get the kill, EGM? Oh my He's God. Got another tether. Oh, Acid spray. Acid spray. Gets the kill. Havos. So they're quad laning bottom. Let's just call it what it is. It's a quad lane. That's two Bulldog TPs to the bottom lane. High ground. They see the victory. They need to claim it. 33 seconds. If they could force out a buyback from Puck, that's an extra. There's a buyback. There you go. So they back. They're sticking around mid. They really want to fight. They're going to stay on the high ground. They pop the mech. There's their trap. Deployed. Meanwhile. The Alliance pushing the top lane, pushing the bottom lane, but the tier 3 mid falls. Navi going for the mid ranks, dropping it fast. Alliance, no sign of wanting to defend. S4 is here. Ake baits out a stun. Navi not finishing the racks yet, but they've lifted S4. He just bought back. If he dies, that could be game. Blinks away. They take the rack. All TP. TP quick right now. S4 is going to try to cancel as many as possible. He'll cancel three. My god. Funnick's going to try to TP, but he's going to defend against every Everybody. Meanwhile, Loda working on the melee racks on the bot. Reality rip. Oh, Funic, you are getting stopped hard. He's going to get back out, but the racks in huge trouble. They will defend. Alliance out maneuvering. Navi has almost taken. Bot two racks. Lanes of bot racks. Loda. That's back two. In. That's Karoki. He's dead. Karoki's down. Oh, Loda. Alliance. The kings of the north. Lane. Ammo Bull. The hex is on Funic. Funic's going to go down as well. Oh, my. God, Alliance. They're doing it! The Alliance is doing it! Two lanes of racks. It's so hard to come back now. Navi, oh, they've got it. not done yet. Havosi Sloda, can you drop that stun? Oh, EGM. Oh, BKB! TP! Oh my god! EGM's gonna try to TP as well. We need a Malefice. We will get a Malefice. Navi, not 100% out yet, but they're up against Profit. They're up against Relocate. They're down a rack. The gold, the experience, so even. It comes down to Bite. No Loda now. Loda. Oh, no BKB he's, this time. He's dropping fast. There's a black hole from Rubby. No, there's not. It's on cooldown. Unable to use it. Loda low. Arma toggling on. He's still got BKB. He's baiting this with buyback. EGM's low. EGM, not dead yet. Loda standing strong. And Blake's funny. Caught by the tether stun. He might end up being in trouble. EGM running, but will get caught. Loda as well. Do Navi go thrown? Do they do it right now? Is it all in? They don't have enough time to throw him right now. Keep in mind that Admiral Bulldog pressuring in the bot lane as well. Navi, I think they have to back off. No, they said we want to go in. Havos, no PKB. Nice goal set to blocking the sun, but he gets lifted. EGM. Oh no, Akin, you draw. Oh, what a crit. Dandy on loads, but it's Bot lane. Bot lane. Going for the throne. There's no glyph. They must 
the fence. Oh, S4. S4 is going to try to jump to the right side. He won't make it there. But again, Bulldog trying to get the racks. Puppy's here. He's got to drop the Malefus. But he has to respect the Hex as well. Admiral Bulldog could just Hex him and kill him. EGM, he's still alive. He's baiting them all. Bulldog still working on those tier 4 towers. Alliance losing two, but they get one. Gem hits the deck. Still, the creeps pushing in. The base might soon fall. It's coming down to the wire. Bulldog, cat and mouse with puppy. The tier fours in jeopardy. Now the running out of options. It's a necro three. It's all in on the push. Oh my God, Rex is gonna go down. We're gonna see a TP from Dendi, and that will drive. Emerald Bulldog out of the base. Meanwhile, you see Havol still trying to run every buyback being spent on both sides. But look at the damage he did. That's the last tier four. The way to the throne is now open. Admiral Bulldog, Alliance, they find a pickup as well. They found a boast. He BKBs. Does he get out in time? No crits. No crits. He will live. Oh my god. Go. Could be a huge class in the river. Oh, Aki. Blake. 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 Malefice as well. He will get caught. He has buyback. It's a crystal maiden down. But the push comes top. It's a nice pick for Navi. It's not enough to they, put they this can't. game in the They grab. can't roach. They can't roach. They don't have enough damage. They don't have enough but time. Oh, S4. cancel TP. He's out. He canceled the beam. Puppy. Puppy. He's not going to be back in the base. He's got BKB, but no boots of travel. Oh, Coil on two. Cancel Stengi's TP as well. They are in now huge trouble. But it's caught. Now they go for the throne, it could be game. Funix down, Alliance are doing it. They need a little more for those to fall. Throne in jeopardy, there's a glyph. It's going to be their last stand. Dendi's back, he's going to try to focus everybody, but there's so much stuff the hitting on done. the throne. There's no more glyph available. Down to a half HP, a quarter HP. Alliance surrounding from all sides. BKB, they, they won this do round. It. They're going to do it. They're the going to do it. The Alliance wins. The they Alliance. win TI3. The Alliance just won. One. International three champions. They have taken home the first ever international for the Swedes.